Hello everybody and welcome back to new Google Tech Fingham tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a friending system to Google Tech Fingham. This is very simple. So first of all, you want to join my Discord server. So the link for that is inside the description. If you're all the way down to you see the friending system right here. Uh, download the latest Unity package. Make sure that you also have PlayFab and Photon in your game. And then just import this package. Then you want to go to Kiwi Star Friend System. Here I have all of the scripts. I go over all of them. And then also, of course, examples in Blend File and also in FBX. I still have to update them, but this will be done if you download the FBX already. So yeah, there will be an prefab right here for this entire setup right here. You just guys can drag this in if you want to. That's already set up, kind of. But yeah, you want to have a friending manager right here. Now this friending manager, you have this stuff right here. So the limit friends is just only if you should have only up to six friends. This is something that you guys can choose. I would probably do yes, because this one only has six slots. But in the future, I will update it so it has like a uh, button so you can like go to the next page and see the next friends that you have right there. Um, the max friends is just how, like, what kind of max friends you have uh, when you limit the friends. If you have this off, you guys can ignore this number entirely. All the friend slots, when you create a new one, you have this stuff right here. So you have the name display. Just have this one right here. It's just a simple text push pro with the friend and also the room one right here. Now you just want to drag it into here. So I have six different panels. As you guys can see, those are six from zero to five. And each one has their own one of those, and I just select them in there. So the friend name options, you have there the front text and back text. Basically, it says friend before the friend name and I also of course have the spacebar because I also just would say this here even though it's supposed to look like this here. Room name is just the same thing but for the room and but I just the back text is just whatever it's gonna be at the end of it so if you have like so let's say your name is Peter then you can do whatever it's supposed to be right here you know it doesn't really matter. So yeah, that's basically it for the friend manager. Now you also have this stuff. This is just for adding friends manually. So when I start the game, you guys can see it, it didn't load in yet. That's why I would need to refresh it probably because I wasn't locked in with PlayFab yet. So I just click refresh and there you go. See all of them are loaded in there and there you go, have them all in here. So yeah, you want to be locked in for this to work. But now when I just go ahead and restart my game, it's already gonna work. It's just like a little issue that I have with PlayFab that it locks in only on the second try when I do anything with PlayFab, like this script here. So yeah, add in friends manually. So you want to input the an ID and as you guys can see, I only have two friends right here. So I'm gonna make a new one. So I'm gonna just make a new play just for testing because my game is not published. I'll copy the ID from the player. I'll go ahead and really quick create this. Now the display name, I'm just gonna do Peter, add this to here and do add friend. Oh, okay, that was just really silly. I, I took the wrong ID, but here we go. Now you guys saw it worked. So basically I took this ID, but I don't want this ID. Um, I want the master ID being this one here. So again, to show you this, I'll go ahead and create another player. There we go. Now I'm gonna copy this ID. I'm gonna name this guy Scaly. I, I don't have any good names. I don't ask why I named him this way now. Make sure this doesn't exist. Add friend. Friend added successfully, now he's also down there. You guys can see this works. Very cool thing. And basically, refresh is also like this little button here. There's also a refresh button, as you can see. Just select like the manager and whatever hand tag you have. That's very easy. And now for the add friending button. So basically, you need to have a friend in your room. And you both have to press this button at the exact same time. Then the cooldown is going to go down slowly. And then you have, and like, after three seconds, you're gonna get added. If anyone takes off the hand, won't work at all. <laughs> so yeah, uh, for the add thread button, you want to make sure it has a collider. The PT view is just going to be a photon view, just add it onto here, put it into here. Hand tag is whatever tag your hand has. Manager, just select the manager right here. Add friends time this is basically how long you have to press this button together to add each other as a friend. So the time display is basically just like this old hex here that says how long it takes for you and when it fails to do something and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, and also really quick, just to make this room ID work, you want to go and make a new manager. I don't know why everyone wants to put this, so room ID. And you want to add that the room ID upload. Uh, there you go. And now the update ratio is just like, uh, every single 60 seconds it's going to get the room ID that you're currently in and put it into uh, onto here. Because else uh, this wouldn't work. Bye bye, I love you.